what's going on guys this is Siren today I'm going to show you how to set up iMessage or FaceTime on your iOS devices it's some easy steps that many people especially people from outside the US and Europe they don't know how to do it probably because many of the mobile operators and do not support iMessage or FaceTime or uh, lots of Apple new users when they are using iPhone or iPad or even Apple touch they don't know how to create an Apple ID or you can say a free Apple ID to set up iMessage so I'm here and I'm going to show you all the steps let's begin first open up settings and go to iMessage or messages but make sure you have got internet okay or Wi-Fi or 3G so first option you have got like a message option if it's off Turn it on, then go to send and receive. If you have a mobile number, like supported mobile number, it will appear here automatically. If not, you have to add an email. If you have your Apple ID, just log in and that's all. But if you don't have one, you have to, can you see this one, this option, use your Apple ID for iMessage, okay? Click on it or tap on it, then choose create new Apple ID. Then here you have to fill the information, okay? First name you have to add your first name, then last name, then your email address. You have to add the one. Uh, you have to add an email address that you haven't used before for apply ID. Then your password and security questions. After that, date of birth and your location, and that's all. I'm going to speed it up this part because it's like demonstration only. You can use any email addresses, it doesn't matter whether it's Gmail or iCloud or Yahoo. For password, just make sure you have got more than 8 characters and it must be letters and numbers. For letters, you must have at least one capital as well. Then you don't click next. Then that's all. It asks you for password for your apply ID, so I'm going to type my password. Click next. Then it's going to verify your iMessage, your account. Then you'll get an error message because the server cannot able to verify your apply ID. So you have to check your email. You can check it here or go to your computer as I'm going to show you now. Now I'm going to check my email address. And because I'm using Gmail, I have to open up my Gmail account and you'll see an email from Apple, okay? You have to verify your email address. So just click on the link here, verify now. Then wait for a couple seconds. You have to find your email address. Then you will get a message and it says your email has been ver verified. Then it's time to go back to your iPhone or iOS devices. Then tap next. You are done. That's all. So as you can see, your email has been added here. There's a couple of things you have to know. Sometimes you will get an error because you have created lots of Apple IDs from one iPhone. So in that case, you have to use your previous Apple IDs or you have to create a new one with a credit card. And to log into FaceTime, just go back to settings. Then you will see FaceTime here. Tap on it and just choose add an email or user apply ID, it doesn't matter. Then just log in. Done. Now you have successfully add apply ID for your FaceTime and for your iMessage. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to make a difference between iMessage and text messages. Okay, first go to messages, then type a new message. I'm going to use my same account. 
then then you can see that if the person has eye message the scent color will be blue okay it means this person has eye message and you can send an eye message to this person but how do you know if it's text message okay let's change now it's green it means this person doesn't have eye message so green indicates text message and blue indicates eye message okay you must know this okay and uh, something else about facetime how to make a facetime call because on iphone you can't see any options like any apps for facetime whereas in ipad you have this option but for iphone users go to contacts or go to phones and choose somebody who has facetime let's say my brother then scroll down until you see facetime icon below here tap and tap on facetime and you will see all of his contacts now you can observe that my brother has facetime on his icloud account because there is like a small icons which indicates facetime okay this camera icon tap on it like this That's all guys, from now on you can use your iMessage or FaceTime whenever you like, have a nice time.